Hey folks, today we're gonna show you how to cook a whole wild duck in only 12 minutes using a pizza oven. First off, you'll need a whole plucked duck. This is an average size wild mallard. If you don't already pluck your ducks, you should be. There's lots of benefits to plucking rather than just breasting your birds. The first step we wanna do is called spatchcocking. This method will allow the whole bird to cook more evenly. Grab a good pair of kitchen shears and working along each side of the spine, cut the spine out. Once you get the spine removed, flip the bird over and press hard on the breast with your hands. You wanna break the breastbone. The bird should now lay flat. The next step is scoring the skin, and this is easier when you're working with a cold bird. Grab a very sharp knife and carefully slice the skin, without slicing the meat if you can help it. You want to score the skin so the heat can get to the fat faster, allowing the fat to properly render out during the cook. Once the bird is scored, you can season and cook it just like this if you want it. But if you want some truly crispy skin, apply a liberal amount of kosher salt to the skin side. Lay the bird on a wire rack over a sheet pan and then throw this into your fridge uncovered for two to three days. The salt in your fridge will help dry the skin out and make it easier to create crispy skin. When your bird is done drying, take it out of the fridge an hour before you're ready to cook to let the bird come to room temp for even cooking. It's time to get your pizza oven rocking. You want to be cooking around 700 degrees Fahrenheit, so set it to full whack. Most conventional ovens simply can't get this hot. That's why we're using a pizza oven. When the oven is warming up, throw a dry cast iron pan into the oven to let it warm up as well. Next, you want to rub off any excess salt from the duck. Some of the salt you use will have actually penetrated into the meat, so it's already seasoned. But we do recommend adding some fresh cracked pepper and a little pre-made garlic seasoning to each side of the bird. Carefully remove the cast iron pan from the oven and quickly lay the bird into the pan skin side up. Pop the duck back in the oven and keep an eye on it. As it cooks, you'll start to see different spots start to crisp up. Rotate the pan the best you can for even cooking. Duck, just like most wild fowl or game, is notorious for drying out and becoming tough, and the flavor often turns unpleasant. To avoid this, cook your duck to rare or medium rare. The duck should be super tender and juicy and have great flavor. This whole cook should only take about 12 minutes to complete. We're looking for an internal temp of 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Once we hit that mark, pull the duck and let it rest uncovered for five minutes on a wire rack above a sheet pan before slicing. As you can see, the meat is super tender and juicy and the skin is nice and crispy. These red juices you see and the pink color in the meat is not blood. The duck meat is naturally pink when cooked properly. Just serve the duck up with some rice and a little hot sauce if you'd like an extra kick. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll save the whole bird next time you go duck hunting and give this recipe a try. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so you don't miss our next video.